Hey Scorpio, welcome to the channel. This is Moon Pie from Moon Pie Tarot. I'm going to take a look at your next two weeks. So we're going to be looking at, oh my goodness, July 5th through the 19th. So let's take a look and see what the messages are for you. Just so you know before I start it, also please put a like and subscribe on the channel if you enjoy the readings. Um, I was putting my charms away and this little charm fell out which is like a little boxing rabbit so giving me some kind of energy about putting some dukes up somebody's putting some dukes up next couple weeks <laughs> okay i'm not sure what's going on there maybe it'll show up in the reading so let's get into this and see also if i feel the need to go into the extended to get more information in this i will let you know all right so Taking a look, okay, past energy, obviously. Breakup, separation, could be the reason why there's some dukes up. There might be a fight, well, there might still be a fight from a past separation. Somebody might be PO'd or angry about something. Could have been a divorce or just a simple argument or a breakup of some sort previously could have been recent or in the or sometime in the past okay so that's definitely showing up here let's take a look there could be also surgery and somebody's just getting back in the ring recovering all right let's take a look so the current energy is freedom happiness joy freedom positivity being out in the sun having a very playful energy this is present material happiness success okay that does represent leo energy let's see what the benefit is oh interestingly enough this came in reverse i don't know why my cards are in reverse they usually aren't but the eight of cups in the reverse so happiness why because there's some kind of reunion or reconciliation eight of cups always at temporary separation so it looks like somebody needed to take a break or an energy of like splitting up maybe to appreciate a relationship more which is a sad way to do it because just should appreciate the relationship while you're in it right but it looks like maybe something happened two people were not communicating in the past and feels like this is an energy of the benefit is fully learned from the past and someone's coming home or someone's returning or coming back and that's the reason for the joy that's the reason for the happiness the positivity okay let's take a look driving the reading okay eight of swords hmm somebody was feeling really restricted you or another person uh feeling isolated alone imprisoned stuck trapped unable to get out of something this is really explaining uh, driving or crowning down there's you and someone else there's all reunion vibes there's reconciliation there's getting back together um two people wanting to come back together that's just the energy i don't know if it's you wanting this i, I feel like it's more along the lines of perhaps you uh, wanting to have some kind of reunion it's homecoming both of these cards reverse and upright are homecoming vibes wanting to be uh, desiring crowning down on you i feel like this is an energy of whoever you and another person have had a split from or a breakup or divorce or something somebody's coming back in wants to be with you wants to have this 11 11 energy this four of wands which is to celebrate a reunion uh, coming back together it's happiness and joy so what am i saying scorpio whoever your person is it's your 11 11 it's your angel message it's your twin it's the person that is meant for you that you feel and they feel is meant for each other so the near future is the knight of cups there's a proposal on the table here of love yes romantic getting together 
spending time there's a there's a return 100 percent. there's a return happening here okay so expect some kind of romantic offer or love offer within i would say uh, they're telling me like july 10th july somewhere around july 10th between between like the 10th and the 14th okay romantic love offer and they're not showing me exactly who it's coming from but either you're making this or they're making it or it's the two of you just coming together in that knight of cups energy prince or princess charming uh yeah romantic proposal or offer so let's take a look at you and your advice wow scorpio you have the ace of cups this is a new fresh beginning a new start this is either a new like a new start in this relationship some of you could be an opportunity maybe there was an argument over not being able to have children or not wanting children i feel like that's going to change for sure um, there's marriage here. There's just so much love. Your cup runneth over. And you have the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be... For some of you, there could be a connection to an earth sign. But for others of you, this is like... Being really logical and practical about your heart. Which doesn't make sense because... They just... You just... The heart is so illogical, it's not even funny. The heart wants what it wants, right? Maybe you um, are interested in exploring something with an earth sign, okay? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Let's take a look, though, at this person's energy. All right, so they have the Ten of Wands. So, Scorpio, I feel like your person is exhausted. They're carrying a lot of burdens, they're, they're completely stressed out, but they don't show it. They're not showing it. I feel like this person wants a reconciliation with you, wants a reunion. They want the full, they want to just be with you. They just want to be with you, Scorpio. They want to be with you, whatever that means. And in whatever way, they just want you for their partner. Okay. Um, and obviously with the Knight of Cups there, this person absolutely is smitten with you has a thing with you but they sh whatever their struggles whether it has to do with work or their creativity um, or their stress or carrying the burdens they don't share that they keep all of that a secret because they don't want to I f it feels like put burden on you they don't want to put their burden on you they don't want you to feel like you have to um i guess it's the word like um help them they might they might it seems like they just like to do it all on themselves and currently right now i feel like they're extremely stressed the position of them and they're really not um they're not sharing any of that the only thing they want to share is the love and the affection and the romance and that kind of energy with you Okay, let me just get, see if we need any clarifiers. What was the breakup in the past? What was the energy of the split or some kind of, oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. So, four of cups. There might have been a breakup or a separation because one person here was refusing to open up to love or they had too many options and they couldn't decide. And I feel like, that caused some discord in the past. Uh, someone felt extremely unfulfilled in a relationship, and that caused a separation in the past. Now, tell Scorpio, why is the Eight of Swords here? Why this sense of mental distress all right, there's some kind of connection. Oh, okay. Somebody, so Scorpio, you might feel currently like you don't deserve somebody. You might have somebody on a pedestal 
or that you're just not good enough for them. You might not feel like you're up to par for someone, which is complete bullshit. <laughs> it's totally not true. Um, but just because you feel that way, and remember, feelings aren't facts. Just because you feel a certain way doesn't mean it's, it's a truth. It's just the way you feel. And you shouldn't beat yourself up for feeling a certain way. Whether you f Some days you feel good. Some days you feel great. Other days you're like down in the trash you know every some days you're just neutral all across the board you know um there's something here that might have been a desire for a child and somebody might not have wanted to have a child um or a pregnancy or there might have been a pregnancy that got found out and um somebody decided not to keep it and there might have been some discord in the past about that but yet two people still love each other and want to be together. But either way, there is an energy of the Eight of Swords where somebody's just feeling very isolated or imprisoned or you might have felt another person maybe was pushing too hard on you or expecting too much. For some of you, it could have been an elder who made you feel just not good enough i don't know why some of you might just be also returning home after a, a parent had surgery um going back home and everything turns out really positive is what i'm hearing like it's a good like it's gonna like everything will be okay that's the energy that i'm picking up with that okay for that so let's see what else is going on here show scorpio the four of wands this reunion this happiness this joy yeah again three of cups another reunion there's so much like <laughs> the past energy feels like difficult to deal with but the current and going forward just feels amazing and even with this little <clears throat> rabbit here you know i'm going to show you I mean, this rabbit has its dukes up. Like, it's a fighting rabbit. Maybe you're born in the year of the rabbit. Um, but this is like, okay, ready to get in the ring and conquer and do something here. So I feel like that's really, it could be your energy or you and another person or, or just your person. But whatever it is, there definitely is this fighting for a relationship or giving support or fighting for another person it's very positive it's it's like looking at this this eight of swords and saying yeah you know what i may mentally feel trapped but i'm really not trapped i'm not physically trapped i might mentally feel like you know i'm just kind of saying as if it's you talking you might be saying to yourself i'm not I'm, i might be feeling kind of like I can't, i'm not I'm not able to do something you might be thinking so that's a, that can be like bits of negative thinking at times but the feet you're you can still move right you can walk right out of this this self-imposed prison right the only thing that's tied up right here are your arms but you're you don't need your arms to walk here you, your feet can walk you can get out of this physically remove yourself from this mental state and what is that like what does that mean how do you physically remove yourself from mental state well i always say if you're having a mental crisis um don't just sit there get moving you got to get your body moving and get those endorphins up because that will help alleviate mental stress or um just gets your hormones going and brings good feelings and good vibes right um i feel like the message here is don't underestimate yourself scorpio you are so worth it you are an amazing person you are kind loving and empath empathic you are a supportive type of a person you're very tolerant you're nurturing you're, you have a healing energy about you and um whatever might have happened in the past either if it this person that you were with just wasn't ready for a commitment or just wasn't open to love it looks like that that's changing looks like this person is turning around and coming back in um could be a taurus could be a pisces or cancer whatever the energy uh or whoever the person is I feel like things are shifting. There's 
there's going to be a change. If you were the one that wasn't ready for for um, uh, like a commitment or you couldn't decide or that you just didn't know what you wanted or you were just apathetic to it or you're indifferent, you didn't care either way and there was some kind of split, I feel like either that's changing within you or this person or both of you. There's definitely going to be some movement forward with some type of love offer or proposal and it it feels like it's brand new it could be coming from like i said this person who's extremely stressed they, i just don't feel like they're ever going to tell you that they have their burdens or the burdens that they carry um if they were the person that felt like they couldn't commit or felt like you couldn't I just don't feel like they're going to tell you about it. But they don't want to. They just want to leave it alone. The things that stress them out. Let me just see. I'll get a little more clarity to see what what is the burden that Scorpio's person here is carrying. Or burdens. Hmm. Okay, I just heard they're... They want to talk to you. But they want you... They want clarity. They're seeking clarity. Why is that a burden? Oh, also I'm hearing they feel like they cause a lot of conflict in your life. They blame themselves. Yep, for causing any suffering to you. Death card in the reverse. They blame themselves for being stagnant with you. They, they blame themselves for destroying any hope that you might have in the, about them. They, I feel like this person, um, they, they're blaming themselves for why something's not moving forward. Yet, even despite that, I, I, f I don't feel like it's going to stop them from loving you. I feel like this person wants to just love you. <laughs> so sad all right let's see what your hopes and fears are okay so you hope that this person has reflected <laughs> has done some self-reflection with the hermit could be a, like i said there's a virgo here um i'm so hungry every time i do reading some hungry my stomach's growling you hope that they can give you some clarity that they've gone in will give you some clarity about what's going on with them. I feel like, Scorpio, you want everything. You want it all out. You want to know everything that's going on with them. And that's a that's a very uh, Scorpio trait. Scorpios are very curious, inquisitive. They don't want to share everything about themselves. But they do want to know what's going on with their person um, at all times. And I feel like in some ways you're hoping that they can like bring some personal truth and open up but you fear they're going to stay closed you fear that they're just going to stay isolated or on their own um repeating the same thing over and over you you fear that that this is just if you guys you know have a romantic connection it's just going to go back to a stagnant situation and just be the way it is and never change um you fear that you're going to get stuck in something here with this person. Like it's going to be stuck. Like you'll both be stuck. But I feel like these are hopes and fears. So the hopes and fears can always be irrational. And sometimes they can be real. But they also can be irrational. I mean, if, if a car is coming towards you and you're in the middle of the street, <clears throat> I think that's a rational fear to have. And I think it's rational to get at the F out of the way. But I feel like if there is no car coming towards you and it's imaginary or you're fearing a car might come towards you, you know, it is what it is. These are these are feelings. OK, so I am going to go into the extended because I want to see <clears throat> this person's going to truly open up because remember, I mean, I do feel like there is this love thing that's going to happen again, but. I want to talk about in the extended more so how the outcome is going to be with you guys if there's a if there's a reunion or reconciliation with this person like is it going to be different 
is, is there going to be some lessons learned here? Is this person, have they become more aware um, of things with a, with a new reconciliation or a reunion? Now, also keep in mind, you know, Scorpio, if you don't want a reconciliation with someone, you don't have to do it, okay? You don't have to do it, even though it could, you know, it's like just... When the ice cream truck comes around, you don't have to go out and get the ice cream. It doesn't mean the ice cream truck's not going to come. You know what I'm saying? So you just let it pass you by. And that's what I'm trying to say here. I definitely feel like there is a reunion between two people here showing up. Maybe you want it. I know they want it. Uh, will you both want it together? There's definitely, it's, it's looking that way in the next couple of weeks. But it's going to be up to you. So yeah, we'll go over to the extended and see what the energies are going to be playing out and how things are going to go. The link will be in the description box below. And I'm just going to leave this here for you for now because I will tell you the, the biggest clue that I'm getting here is that, you know, these dukes up. Just let me say before I close out the reading, this could be you fighting back and saying no. Or you're going to, it could also be you saying you're going to have to fight for me. Because I'm going to see, and I'm going to need to see more. Um, or you two could get an argument. <laughs> it's Or this just could be playful teasing. Or you could just be out there, you know, hit, boxing or hitting a hip bag for like workout or something. Or doing some kind of fighting of some sort. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that there. I hope you guys have a fantastic next couple of weeks. Don't forget to put a like and subscribe on the channel. And if you want to get a personal text reading with me, there's a link in the description box below that I am doing this again. All right, you guys. You love you. See you real one. soon. Bye. No one likes being like you. You made this mess and left me with the pain.